When I bought a small business for the very first time a few months ago, the business only had two technicians, two people actually servicing customers, and those were the only two employees that came with the business. There were no managers or operators or anyone else because the previous owner did all of that. And some of the administrative work was and still is outsourced, but eventually you'd like to bring that in-house with an admin. But regardless, we started this business with just two employees and an owner. Well, I shouldn't say that because I didn't start this business, but that was my starting position in taking over this business. And there were a lot of things on day one that I could have done to change the business, a lot of different people I could have chosen to hire, but the very first person I chose to hire for this business was a general manager. This would be someone who would oversee operations, make sure that things are carried out smoothly, and would generally have a very broad set of responsibilities in operating this business. But why would I hire a person for this role rather than using the time, energy, and money to hire someone for a different role, like an administrator or even another technician? Well, there are a few reasons for that. For one, I want to take this business to the next level. I don't want to leave it in its current state. I want to improve it, increase sales, offer more services in the future, and generally get it to a better position, even though it's been doing quite fine to this point. But just because something's been doing okay doesn't mean you have to leave it there, and it certainly doesn't mean that there aren't better things ahead if you do the right steps to try and grow it. But a big challenge is not only identifying those right steps, but executing them, and that takes time and energy. And that really starts from the top with management. By hiring a manager first, I have have someone who not only can help me with the strategic aspects of the business and trying to put together a plan on how to execute things for the future, but I have someone who can actually carry out that plan. It can help me to hire people, focus on building the culture within the business, focus on fulfillment at the same time, making sure that is kept up to our current standard and beyond it. And having a competent manager makes all those things that much easier. And that's closely related to another reason why I chose to hire a manager, and that's that I can leverage my time back so that I can then spend the time that's been free up towards very specific things within the business or even outside of the business because I still have other things going on as well. Because ultimately that's what hiring people is. It's leveraging their time. And when you leverage their time, you get some of your time back. You can focus it towards other things. And the person you've hired can focus their time towards a very specific task, depending on how specific the role is. And they don't have to worry about other aspects of the business because those are taken care of by other people's time that you've leveraged, at least when everything is running smoothly. And leveraging time is the only way that a business can grow past a certain point because eventually there's only so much that you can do as an individual person before things just start falling apart or you're simply just at your capacity. Meanwhile, your competitors who do leverage other people's time effectively are going to be in a much stronger position. They're going to be able to take on more business than you and that's going to make things a lot more challenging. And while the learning curve or the transition phase for hiring someone like a general manager or an operator is going to be a lot bigger than maybe a quote unquote lower level position, the payoff of getting through that learning curve should be much greater since now that operator is in a much stronger position and can make decisions more quickly. They understand the ins and outs of the business and that makes executing a plan that much easier. And to that, by hiring a manager earlier, they're gonna have more time to get comfortable with the business, how things operate, look for flaws in how things are operating and fixing them before the problems get much larger as the company grows. But it also would avoid some of the culture shock that might come with bringing in an outside operator when the business has already grown to a certain level, at least well beyond where we're currently at. And who knows how much much friction that might cause by bringing in someone from the outside who's not used to how things are operating and maybe things haven't been operating optimally and then all of a sudden you have to unwind the problems that you had before. So simply put, I think it makes a lot more sense to get ahead of those issues if you can by hiring a manager earlier on in the process, even if it might mean taking less profit in the short term, because I think it means it will be a lot more profit in the long term and a lot more time for me in the short term now to focus on many other things to help both grow the business and also work on other things out side of the business, which in turn should also help for the long term. When it comes down to it, growth really starts at the top. If you're trying to grow a business, you need a good leadership team at the helm to try and steer things in the right direction because you don't want to distract your employees who might be fulfilling your services, in this case, our technicians who are doing carpet and steam cleaning. We don't want them focusing on growing the business. We want them focusing on doing a nice job at the customers that they're serving because having a great product would make it a lot easier for the manager and the leadership team to then try and grow the business further because you have that nice thing to sort of point to. Whereas if there isn't a good leadership structure, that's gonna make things a lot more prone to falling apart quickly. And as a bonus, having someone help me to manage the business gives me a great person to bounce ideas off of, whether they have previous experience in a certain area that they can pull from. It's another person, it's another perspective that can be very helpful when it comes to leading a team. And now that I have a manager in place, I can focus more of my time towards growing other parts of the team. And if all goes well, that means more happy customers.
If you like this video and don't want to miss the next one, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon while you're at it. But as always, thanks for watching.